Hello and welcome to my tarot corner. So uh, before I start, please uh, do take a few moments to le uh, read my full descript uh, disclaimer in the description box. This is a tarot reading. It is vibrational. It is open to interpretation. It exists as assumptions and speculation and as such may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourselves. So while I'm uh, shuffling this deck, uh, this is the Modern Witch deck, uh, another Rider weight clone, uh, but a lot less majestic, majestic than the uh, uh, Gilded ones. Uh, so I will tell you about uh, the life that uh, me and the Duchess of Narcissus are planning. Uh, in her last life, I, uh, in a very uh, um, spontaneous way, I went on the live and we started talking about many things, uh, not only royal family, but also a lot about history and uh, a lot about the uh, occult, uh, occult and non-occult things that are uh, going around in the world, uh, the rise of the very right-wing uh, fascists, uh, um, let's say, movements uh, all over the wor world, in Europe especially. And um, it was a really interesting talk and we're planning to do that uh, again. So. Uh, please do root for that uh, if you want uh, to hear me talk about things that are not tarot and um, I am a very uh, enthusiastic historian let's say that way I read a lot of it about history I always also write I write right now I write my the a book that is based on uh, my grandmother's life. My grandmother was uh, a Holocaust uh, survivor, uh, like all four of my grandparents. Uh, but she has a very, she had a very uh, unique s story. So I am writing it right now, uh, but as a novel, I already wrote it as a, um, as a book for her. Uh, writing her story but here now I'm writing it as a novel so um, when it does come out and I hope it does come out uh, maybe it will be uh, also translated to English and then I could uh, send you copies of it anyway um, this reading is around the Duchess of Sussex and the Duchess of Windsor. So many people see the similarities between the both. Uh, not uh, well. It was really evident that when they, when Harry only married uh, um, Meghan, uh, both were Americans, both uh, divorcees. And uh, I have to say that uh, when he uh, decided, when they decided about Mexit, I sent a, a DM through Sussex Royal Instagram account that was still uh, operational uh, with the uh, video of the last interview that the Sussex, that the Windsors gave to the media, and I warned Harry, look at your uh, great uncle, and you can see uh, what is planned for you for the future. I mean, it was so obvious that. Uh, um, David or Edward, as he was called uh, when he beca became king, uh, was miserable. It was really obvious that uh, his wife was controlling him, and then a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, articles came out and the documentaries about the fact that uh, this they were both miserable, that she did not love him. Uh, there was, there is this documentary about her letters 
that uh, the letters that she wrote her ex-husband, the one that she was married to while she met, she was having an affair with, uh, uh, with Edward. Uh, and um, she, uh, she wrote him that she feels trapped, that she, she really uh, uh, still loved him. And uh, she felt that she had no choice but, she, but to marry Edward after he uh, gave up the throne for her. Uh, but they were never happy. And uh, it is said that she uh, wasn't faithful. And it was, and, and of course, there is the Nazi uh, connection. She was a, a very big supporter of Hitler. And there are also rumors that she was a spy for uh, the Germans uh, before World War II, when uh, von Ribbentrop was uh, the German ambassador in England, and uh, she had an affair with him as well. Uh, while she was two timing Edward, and uh, and after they got married, they uh, did meet Hitler, and uh, there was talk about. Uh, when the Nazis uh, take over Britain, that they will overthrow the Queen and uh, put on the throne uh, Edward as king. And one of the reasons that uh, the Windsors were sent to the Bahamas uh, during World War II was because uh, the British uh, government was afraid that the Nazis will uh, kidnap the Windsors and uh, for their own uh, for their own benefit. So, uh, in order to put on uh, Edward on the throne uh, after they uh, after they take the British island, which never happened. So um, that was the first similarity. Then. Uh, when while when the when the the uh, wedding happened, uh, uh, Megan arrived to the wedding uh, in the same Rolls Royce that uh, drove uh, Wallace to the funeral of uh, the Duke of Windsor's, and that was the first time she came to England. The first and last time that she came to England after. Uh, they got married. So um, that, uh, I mean, for Megan, uh, there was no scruples in using the same vehicle. And later on, we saw her copying uh, the, uh, Wallace's uh, style, not in a very good way, but she did. Uh, so what are the similarities between the two of them? And I'm going to do a kachina knife. Uh, um, uh, uh, to see their connection. So let's start with clearing the deck. And now let's start asking. So the similarities between Megan and uh, the Duchess of Windsor, Wallace Simpson, uh, are they two alike? Are they two peas from the same pod? So what are the similarities between Meghan Markle and Wally Simpson, Duchess of Windsor? So let's cut the deck. And as I always tell you, in the Kachina knife, uh, the first card is one of the pe person that we're talking about, and the second card is the other person. So the first card will be Megan. And this card is the moon card. And we get the moon card around Megan quite a lot. It shows us that she's unstable. She has a mental disease, that, she's, uh, uh, that she has problems with her mother. Uh, she cannot uh, get along with her mother. Uh, this is a card of someone who is confused, someone who is uh, in a very big emotional problem. So we're talking about a narcissist, and this is a, a card that actually describes a narcissist. Uh, 
I usually say that the one way of getting over the moon card or these emotional problems is going to a psychologist and some of you are saying and rightly so that there is no way that I that any kind of therapy uh, can help someone who is a narcissist and uh, usually a person that is a narcissist doesn't see anything wrong about it and uh, doesn't even bother to go to therapy and this is exactly what we see here so she will never admit that she's a narcissist but this is who she is and uh, this only shows that she has severe mental problems and one of the my next readings going to be around uh, Doria and Megan both narcissists like a narcissistic mother that grew that uh, raised a narcissistic daughter and here uh, the moon card just shows that this is really the stem of the problem not only that she was a uh, uh, indulged by Thomas uh, through the, her childhood, that she got everything that she ever wanted. Uh, not only that, but also uh, Doria's uh, influence on her was in uh, ma was making her very very unstable emotionally and I believe that narcissism is something that is that this is a, a personality trait that is not it's not something that you acquire you, you you are born with and when you have a narcissistic mother then uh, usually uh, a child can get that trait from her. So uh, this just shows how disturbed Megan is. What card does describe Wallace Simpson? And the card that describes Wallace Simpson is the Empress card. And we know that Wallace Simpson was never a mother. So this is not her being a mother. This is her feeling that she sacrificed everything uh, that she had uh, when she married Edward. Uh, this is a person that feels that is uh, uh, he's, he's feel full of jealousy. A person who is lust fool, uh, a person who is destructive and is, get, uh, is uh, uh, getting close to destructive people, is attracted to destructive people. Uh, this is a person also that has uh, big problems with his mother. And if you go into the biography of uh, Wally Simpson, you can see that she did have big issues with her mother. She had a terrible childhood and uh, uh, everything that Megan is trying to say about her childhood is true about um, Wallace Simpson's uh, childhood and her first ma marriage was an abusive marriage. Uh, she was uh, really abused and uh, that was her first marriage. Her second marriage was not such ab so abusive, but I think that she was already uh, really um, very... Um, Let's say it that way. Uh, she she was really disturbed because of the, uh, her childhood and because of her uh, uh, experiences uh, as a young adult. Uh, so this shows also another person that has uh, problems. Uh, someone who uses his sexuality to achieve things and we see that, we saw that with her. She uses her sexuality to achieve a lot of things and she thought that she might become uh, the Queen of England. She did not believe that she that Ed, uh, Edward will have to abdicate in order to marry her. And when she did learn about that, she tried to persuade him not to because she that didn't really love him. She didn't really want to marry him. The only reason for her to marry him was to get ahead and to become queen. But when once she realized that she will not become queen, she wanted, she didn't want that any longer, but she was trapped.
So this card shows us that she felt that she was giving everything that she has and not getting enough in return. Um, this, the Empress card is someone who usually when it is positively aspected, it is someone who is uh, willing to give everything because, uh, because he's someone who is an empath and he's giving everything that he has without asking for uh, anything in return. Uh, this is the mother card. When it is neg uh, positively aspect, when it is negatively aspect, it shows us that uh, she really thought that she's sacrificing herself, that she's not getting enough back, that she uh, she was she felt uh, that she was in this destructive relationship, and um, in a way, uh, Edward was more like a, a child that was dependent on her. She was controlling him. Uh, she was mothering him. So this is another reason why the Empress card came up. Uh, and this is one, uh, both of these cards are animus cards. And I also I'll always, uh, I, I talked about animus cards quite a lot. Uh, animus cards are talking about bad relationships, relationships that are uh, unable to develop in the right direction. So both of them had this tendency to uh, get attracted to people that are not suitable because of that. Both of them are divorcees and uh, uh, both of them had this uh, tendency to uh, to get attracted to an animus or anima uh, person that is not suitable for them. So uh, and and either be destructive or uh, or become uh, or have a, a, a relationship with a destructive person. So. These two cards are showing us that both of them are not stable uh, and are uh, emotionally unstable. So this is another uh, uh, trait that is very uh, common between the both of them. Okay, so this is the card. These are the cards that describe uh, the pe the people that they were or are. Uh, so what can we see in the past? Uh, that is leading to the connection between them. So what can we see in the past? Uh, it was, and that's probably in what hap was going on in Megan's mind when she uh, learned about uh, Wally Simpson. And we are getting the Hermit card. So the Hermit card, this is a card of someone who is isolated, uh, someone who would do anything that he can to achieve the truth. And this is uh, the third major arcana that we're getting in this spread. I mean, it's uh, quite... Uh, quite amazing that this spread is highly spiritual because we are talking about the similarity between a, a person that is dead and a person that is alive. Um, the Duke and Duchess of Windsor you, used to live quite like hermits. Uh, they were cooked up in this uh, villa in, uh, in France. Uh, they had this very small number of friends and um, they were not uh, they were not welcome back in England and uh, this shows us that uh, in a way they were isolated they were isolated from the family and this is what exactly what is happening with the uh, Sussexes uh, the Sussexes maybe did that uh, on purpose in the beginning but this is how it ended up uh, they are isolated the, the royal family doesn't want anything to do with them so they are not welcome back uh, so this card shows us that uh, both of these duchesses uh, ended up in this isolation and this place when they are unwanted and they are a uh, living in this gilded cages, both of them. So this is something that was similar between them even before and uh, in, even in the past. Uh, this tendency to uh, 
get into gilded cages uh, because of their wish to get so much, uh, they end up in getting a lot less than they bargained for. So that's in the past. What can we see in the present similarity between the both? And we are getting the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is a, a card that shows us a materialism, over materialism. A, this card is badly aspected by the moon and the hermit that came before. And the Nine of Pentacles, when it is positively aspected, it is a card that speaks about working hard and at, uh, achieving, receiving profit. But when it is negatively aspected, it's about perfectionism, about the need to prove themselves and over materialism, restlessness and expecting success to come without any effort. And this is a, a very similar trait between both duchesses. Uh, both of them did not work for a living. Uh, not uh, well megan doesn't work now she did work in the past uh, but both of them are relying on uh, their husband's uh, money uh, the, uh, uh, wally simpson didn't have anything of her own before she married her second husband and uh, afterwards uh, she was relying on uh, uh, Edward to provide for them uh, or to on his uh, properties and uh, he did have quite a lot of properties and he did have um, um, for example Sandringham was his and he was willing to sell it to uh, King George uh, not only for money, uh, but also for the fact that uh, they achieve, they received uh, uh, the ducal uh, title because that wasn't even uh, certain before. Uh, so this is uh, and and this is also the need for perfectionism, both of them, and this uh, this image makes me think about Megan in her chicken coop, in her uh, garden, how she needs everything to be to, sh to be seen as if everything is perfect. And, the, and Wally Simpson was exactly the same. Uh, in, apart from the over-materialism, she also needed uh, everything to, sh to be seen as perfect. And the way she dressed was, for example, uh, a part of that. Uh, she uh, was also always impeccable, and uh, this is a, the big differences between them. Uh, I think that Megan is trying, uh, in a way, to link herself to uh, to Wallace, uh, so that she can uh, be casted by uh, the Wallace Simpson's uh, reputation of a good of someone who had a, an amazing style, fashion, or fashion. Uh, sense uh, so Megan you know, wants to get that uh, stardust let's say that way so the need for perfectionism uh, Megan doesn't do that as good as Wallace did but both of them has this need okay so what can we see for the future will Megan go on trying to imitate Wallace Simpson and we're getting the four of cups so I'm not so sure because the Four of Cups is a card of doubts. And uh, I think that Megan is getting the backlash about her, the similarities between her and Wallace and that it's not in a good way. People are not seeing the similarities uh, in a good way. People are uh, uh, seeing what uh, we all see, that uh, what she's imitating is the bad attributes of uh, Wallace Simpson's. So right now she's doubtful on whether or not it's uh, the right bandwagon to uh, be on. And we know that Megan is jumping from one bandwagon to another bandwagon and uh, she's looking for the next bandwagon. So right now she is full of doubts about the uh, the correct way of acting in order to achieve uh, the 
the people's uh, uh, let's say the people's vote or to uh, improve her uh, popularity and uh, I did see that she's uh, that people are from the Democratic uh, Party are calling her to run for office uh, this is something I'm sure that she loves to see uh, articles like that but I'm sure that this is another puff piece from Sunshine Sachs uh, so um, Megan realizes that the connection between her and Wallace Simpson is not in her favor, and she's doubtful about whether or not to go on, on that route or to find someone else to attach herself to. And uh, the, uh, similarities were seen between her and Melania Trump, uh, but I believe that she will try and find someone else that is more favorably seen or has a more is more popular and try to imitate that person in order to uh, achieve uh, good points with the public. Okay, so what is the advice for Megan with everything that is connected to the similarities between her and, uh, and Wallace? And we're getting the world card. So this has to end. Uh, the world card is another card that speaks about perfectionism. Uh, this is a card that shows that it talks about a, an ending of something in order for something new to uh, begin. So, as as a, uh, an advice for uh, Megan, it, this card is telling her you need to end this. You need to find a way to detach yourself from Wallace Simpson and to start something new. Uh, as I always say, the world card is a card of a process that when it comes to an end, you just start all over again. And every time that you start all over again, you are getting more and closer and closer to the enlightenment. So this card is telling Megan that she needs to close that door, close that chapter, go to a new chapter in her, in her life, imitating someone else. So uh, she, she herself is calling uh, every new era in her life a new chapter so this is what the card this card is telling her and the card that is explaining this is the ace of pentacles so if you want your needs to uh, become reality if you want those that money if you want uh, that richness abundance everything that is connected to the ace of pentacles this is what you need to do so this is why both of these cards are coming together. If you want that richness, if you want the, the abundance, if you want your needs to become a reality and to in the material world, this is what you need to do. You need to end that relationship and try to uh, uh, connect yourself to someone else, someone less nefarious, someone less controversial, someone who is seen favorably by everyone, and uh, she needs to find a way of doing that. Now, I don't know if she can, but this is what the advice is telling her. Okay, so this is it for this reading, and uh, I'm going to take an oracle card from the Quantum of the Oracle. Uh, I haven't used that for a while, and I really love this oracle deck it, it, because it does give a lot of uh, insight in uh, every uh, part of uh, life. I mean, it's, it's about cycles, people, uh, all sorts of... Uh, uh, areas in life so I usually take more than one card so let's see what kind of energy can we get about the similarity between Wallace and Megan okay so similarity wait first I have to clear the deck Okay, similarities between Wallace and Megan, similarities between Wallace Simpson and Megan Markle. 
Okay, so the first card is a psycho card. <laughs> I had this, I had this um, uh, feeling that I'm going to say a psycho card, and this talks about transformation. So uh, this is the ability of Megan to transform herself. Uh, as needed uh, so she whenever she feels that uh, something is not serving her anymore then she's transforming herself to something else uh, just I'm going to look at the, uh, at the book for more explanation about this uh, wait a minute okay so the affirmation is, I am capable of great inner change. I transform my life by transforming my thoughts and perception. I'm always free to choose. So this is what Megan feels. This is how she feels. She feels that she's able to transform herself uh, just by uh, her wish uh, in, uh, and that she's free to choose whoever she wants to uh, get attached to uh, and she will transform herself to uh, the next bandwagon, the next person that uh, will serve her better than Wallace Simpson. And the next card is... Another cycle card, new beginnings. So this is a, a, once again just like the uh, um, the uh, world card. After you go through uh, the cycle of and you are transforming yourself, you are starting a new beginning. So this is exactly what this card is speaking about. It's it, it's about a starting new beginning and. A, thinking that they are wonderful and they are coming her way. So uh, closing one chapter, starting a new one by this transformation. Okay, so this is it for this reading. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, share the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.